So you want to pre-record and then live stream your videos? Well, there's a couple of different ways you can do it, but I'm gonna show you the easy way. If you're brand new to my channel, welcome. My name is Monty Weaver. I'm a digital strategist teaching entrepreneurs, small business owners, and nonprofit organizations how to leverage the power of social media and digital. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to pre-record and then live stream your videos. Now, this is a tactic that I've used for a long, long time. And one of the reasons I actually did this first was because I was scared to get on camera. Now, you might not be able to tell it now because I've done a lot of YouTube videos, I've done a lot of Facebook Lives, but the very first video I ever did on Facebook Live was a pre-recorded video, and I streamed it from my desktop. So when Facebook Live first came out, everybody was jumping on their cell phones doing the Facebook Live, but I was actually doing it from my computer, and I've done it from my computer ever since. And one of the strategies was recording a video ahead of time making all the edits, making all the tweaks, and then live streaming it to the world. And so I'm gonna show you two ways you can do it. The first way is a way that you probably already know if you're watching this video, but if not, no problem. The second way is the easiest way to do it because you literally don't even have to be in front of the computer. You upload it, set the time, and forget it. So let's jump into the computer and I'm gonna walk you through how you can live stream your pre-recorded videos. So inside of OBS, what I've done is uploaded a pre-recorded video. Now this video just so happens to be a bootcamp called Bootstrapping Your Way to Success, where we taught entrepreneurs and business owners how to leverage the power of different tools that are out there, websites, strategies, different resources that you can use that cost really low amounts of money, and in some cases, most cases, free. So you see that I actually have a bit video playing right now. And all I did was go to the sources section, hit the plus button, select the media source option, and then added by video from saved on my local computer. Now, the video is already playing, and if I wanna play this video live, all I have to do is set up my live streaming output and files settings section, select the stream tab, and select which destination I would like to live stream this video to. Once I have that selected, I can hit start streaming and start streaming will cause my video that was pre-recorded months ago to be a live stream broadcast so a new audience can actually take a look at the education from what was provided here at this local bootcamp. Now that's a simple way to actually set it up and do it. But there's a couple drawbacks of actually using this strategy to live stream your pre-recorded events. One, you actually have to be in front of your computer at the time you want to live stream it. So that means if I wanna live stream this on Sunday morning at 10 a.m., I have to be in front of this computer Sunday morning at 9.45 to give myself some prep time and actually click the buttons to start live streaming at that specific time which is great if you don't mind being there or you already have to be in front of your computer anyway. But what if you wanna live stream an event or live stream a pre-recorded video and you don't have the ability to be in front of that computer at that certain time? Well, I'm gonna show you that second way to do it. And this is gonna be the easiest way to do it. Let's jump back over to the computer once again. I want you to check out a website called OneStreamLive.com. OneStreamLive.com is a easy to use website that allows you to not have to worry about installing any additional software. This is a completely web-based software that allows you to upload and schedule when you want to play your pre-recorded videos. Let's walk through the site really quickly, but you'll see that this is very simple to follow and almost anybody can do it that has ever logged into a computer. You can see that live stream pre-recorded videos, schedule and live stream your recorded videos to 40 plus social media destinations simultaneously. And some of the popular platforms, of course, are gonna be YouTube and Facebook, Periscope, Twitch and Mixer, Smashcast is even available, and a lot more. As we scroll down here, we'll see some of the features that OneStreamLive.com allows for. You can do multiple destinations, you can set the time in advance up to 60 days in advance. So if you have a schedule events and you already have it pre-planned, you can definitely 
schedule your events and have all your live streams done for the next two months, which is crazy. No software to be installed. You can upload videos, whether they're on your cloud, like Google Drives or maybe OneDrive, or if they're stored on your local computer, you can upload those easy as well. And you also have a function called team management. So multiple people can log in and actually control the live stream broadcast. So if you have maybe a church organization or a small business and multiple people need to upload videos, you definitely can do that as well. Now let's take a look at how it works. And again, very simple. Select the video you want, schedule your video, and choose the live stream platforms that you want your video to play on. Now let's take a look at me being logged into OneStreamLive.com. Now that we're in the back end of OneStreamLive.com, you can check out how many different social platforms you can go to, all right? There's a ton of destinations that you can choose from. The most popular ones, of course, are at the top, Facebook groups and profiles and fan pages, YouTube, Periscope, all the good stuff. Even Instagram is sitting here. So those of you all that are looking for options for Instagram, you have something here as well. Let's take a look on the left-hand side of the column and kind of walk through just a couple of the different tabs here that you'll definitely need to know about. The first one we'll look at is the account section. As you can see here, I have up to four accounts on this particular profile where I have an RTMP connected, my YouTube profile connected, my Facebook profile connected, and my Periscope profile connected right here in the platform. As we scroll down to the one stream storage section, we can look at videos and you can upload your videos depending on which plan of onestreamlive.com you actually have. You can actually schedule your videos. So we'll actually click on new stream here. We'll select upload video and I will search for it on my computer. I will grab this five minute countdown. This is a very small video. So depending on how large or small your video is will determine how long it actually takes to upload your video into the platform. Once your video has been uploaded, you'll be able to change the title. You'll be able to add descriptions, add tags. And here's the awesome part here. You can set the date and the time that you want it to play. So if I want this video to play on April 1st and I'll select 8 a.m. I can select that time. Make sure you also select the right time zone for when you want your video to play as well. There are a ton of advanced features. So you can set privacy settings, whether you want that to be public or private. Maybe on Facebook, you want it to only go to your friends or YouTube, you want it to be unlisted and not popular and getting that attention just quite yet. Maybe you wanna drive traffic to your YouTube video first and then turn it live. So that way you can boost the algorithm on YouTube. It's all about the strategy, right? You can also select if this is for kids or not. Then at the bottom, choose the social platform that you wanna to stream to. For demo, I'll just do RTMP. And then I can select schedule stream. Now it says my stream has been scheduled successfully and I don't have to be in front of the computer when this stream actually takes place. I don't have to worry about making sure that I got all the buttons connected. I literally can upload it, select the time, and my video is ready to start playing. So OneStream Live is a very simple platform to use if you're trying to schedule your pre-recorded videos to play. You don't have to be in front of your computer. You can upload a ton of different videos. They have multiple plan options. So definitely once you're on the website and I'll link to it below, definitely check out which plan works for you. Start with the free plan if you want to, but if you already know how you're gonna use this because you already can kind of get your, your mind turning on the possibilities with being able to stream pre-recorded videos, definitely look at some of the higher plans. There is actually a discount at the time of this video. So make sure you take advantage of that if you're interested in the platform. If you guys got some value from this video, definitely let me know by hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.